Well, so it comes up to about your waist and then they had to do some modifications on it to come up, up a little bit higher for me to help balance me. And then um, it's effectively um, what it's kind of what it says on the tin almost, but it's robotic thing that you sort of sit in, I guess is the closest thing I can explain it as. And then your straps into it and then it moves and your straps to it, so you move with it. So in terms of controlling it, most people would use a joystick to control it, but I can't use my arms at all. And so one of the areas that they're focusing on is um, use of brain waves to control it. And so by thinking and mapping my brain waves that I thought when it walks at first, and then using those in reverse almost to get for it to know what to expect, what signals to expect to, for it to walk. Yeah, just to be upright and walking felt very strange at first. I mean, to see my toes beneath me, my feet moving forward and something, you know, for the past two years, I haven't seen that regularly, really. And so it's very unusual, I quite, it's quite an enjoyable sensation to see your body moving in that way. I really enjoyed it and it was nice getting out, getting over to Rome, really. I never thought I'd have been there this early on, really, but it was great. Rob um, obviously had his accident uh, September 2013 and uh, spent an awful long time in uh, intensive care in French Hospital there. And there, three, three charities um, helped hugely. Spinal Injuries Association, the SIA, uh, Mark Hampson Foundation and uh, Special Effect. And when at, at that stage that made a particular huge difference to Rob was the special effect charity, which when Rob was lying in uh, intensive care with ceiling tiles to look at, they, they came along and uh, just by using his eye blink, he was able to control the computer there and initially uh, play games to get used to it and then that was his way of contacting friends through uh, Facebook and emails and that sort of thing. We, we, we know that technology is advancing all, all the time and, to, and we, we've seen the, the exoskeleton there and so we, we thought, um, Robert, why, why not try it? And they, they brought um, a, a suit here from uh, Physio Function in um, Northampton. Rex Bionics is the company with the suit and he tried it here and it seemed to go re really well for him. He walked a, a few paces across the bedroom with lots of people supporting him and someone controlling the joystick.